to another edition of Mr's Guitars TV with me Steve J Curtis coming to you from Lowestoft in Suffolk and hope you'll find them well out there. We've got a fabulous guitar. Um, this is a Fender as you can see. Um, it's a limited edition American Standard Strat um, in late cursive blue with a matching late cursive blue headstock. Uh, it's a 1996 commemorative um, issue. So of the it's so uh, 50th anniversary, in fact, um, and it does have on. I'll just show you on the back of the headstock. It's got. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a little uh, sticker that tells you it was a 50th anniversary uh, guitar. It's it's a lovely um, C American C profile neck, the uh, maple neck and maple board. Um, it's quite slim, so it's, it's not a big fat chunky neck like the old 50s thing. Um, and uh, it's got an older body, um, and uh, oh, yeah, it's a Fender's own machine heads, which are fine, they work, work great. Trem's working on this and it stays in tune, uh, you know, when you're giving it a little bit of waggle on the chords. Oh, it's a bit of shimmer, I like that. And um, it's set up. Fabulously, lovely action, uh, plays beautifully. Um, being the fact that it's a 1996 model, it's been owned uh, by well, one player and uh, it's been geeked, but it's been very, very well looked after. So, you know, the, you can feel that it's got a little bit of wear and a few things here and there, but you know, it's from 1996, it's going to have some, some playing wear, and that's exactly what it's got. So, uh, it's got a lot of character about this guitar, it's very, very nice, very appealing as soon as you pick it up. Um, so, well, it's a Strat, it's got three pickups, it's got a five-way switch, um, but it's also got a TVX tone circuit, um, which is uh, connected to this pop down here. There's a centre daytime position, um, so from the centre, obviously you roll back, you're going to darken the tone up, I'll demonstrate that in a minute. And um, obviously you can add more presence and top end as you uh, wind it up to uh, number 10. Um, but uh, it's, it's a lovely guitar, plays very well. Um, and as I said, it's exceedingly well set up. So I'd be surprised if this hangs around for a while because uh, someone's gonna come in and grab hold of this pretty soon, I would think. Anyway, um, I'll just play you know, through, through the pickups. I mean, everybody knows what a strap does, but... Um, We'll play it clean uh, as we normally do. We're playing clean through a beautiful Fender Deluxe Reverb, which I'm surprised is still here because no one's bought it yet. Which actually I'm quite pleased about, but obviously, you know, the shop needs to sell these things, so mm -hmm. someone come and buy it. Fantastic amp. Um, and uh, so a bit of reverb, clean sound, and then we've got a couple of dry boxes on the floor, um, tube screamer and a super overdrive from Boss. Anyway, let's have a little uh, noodle about and see what you think. Into the middle. I think 
out the sound a bit. Pretty big, be good with a bit of slide, and I'll, I'll just stick the tube screamer onto this. <laughs> It seems very, very well balanced right across all the pickups. They don't, uh, they don't seem to be any sort of huge uh, differences with you know volume leaping out, and um, I think it's lovely. <laughs> Yeah, 
great guitar. Just someone come and buy it. Thank you. Um, I shall leave it there, I think. And uh, hope you're all fine and well. Have a great uh, time, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs>